Hello subscribers, today I am at the Saudi airport Riyadh, uh, King Khalid airport. I was traveling to Saudi solo. But then I really want to share my experience with you so that you know if you women out there have to travel. I was traveling business uh, so I had no choice and I wanted to come. Uh, but then uh, before coming I was I was a little apprehensive. I was a little scared because whatever you know image we have in our mind of Saudi, I was a little scared. Uh, I would I, I would confess that. But once I was here, you you know this place is amazing. This place is amazing. It is it is so warm. People are so warm. The hospitality is next level. I was staying in uh, Marriott Riyadh Airport Hotel. It, it was a very nice hotel <coughs> with amazing people around. Uh, and uh, you know, our office, I visited my office. I met up with people. I met up with a lot of local Saudi nationals. And to say the least, they were, they were really good. And then no more like, you know, the thought that we have in our mind that we're, we're very conservative or uh, you know uh, there's they, they would not really value uh, females and all it's nothing like that they are very hospitable they're very warm they are very good uh, there's a lot of respect that everyone has for uh, women and especially you know someone who's traveling from outside i was very 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 well taken care of and uh, most important it's a very safe place, okay? Unlike what we think of it, and you know, I don't know how safe would I be and all. It is one of the safest places. Uh, like Dubai, I had the same vibe, like what I get in Dubai. And uh, you know, even if you have to uh, step out at night, uh, you can easily take a cab. I had, I was fortunate enough to have my colleagues take me around places. But uh, you know, you can hire a cab. You can go. There's no safety concern at all, at all, okay? It is very safe and now there are beautiful places, you know, they've got cafes, they've got places open beyond midnight. We were out till 2 o'clock at night in Riyadh, which, which I did not think of that we'll be able to do that. So up till 2 o'clock, 3 o'clock, we were outside, there were eateries. They have very good Indian veg, vegetarian Indian options which are there. So while, you know, I would suggest that while you're traveling, please try local food. But at the same time, if you are a fussy eater, if you want vegetarian options, if you want Indian options, there are numerous, there are numerous of them, okay? Uh, I uh, went to a restaurant called Molo, which is in uh, Riyadh Front. Riyadh Front is a very nice complex, okay? Uh, and then uh, it was an amazing stay. It was a very luxurious, uh, very pampered stay. Also, one of the experiences that I had was uh, we went to this uh, red sand beach and uh, we do the quad biking there. It was an experience. It was an experience to say the least. I thoroughly enjoyed it. So, uh, uh, there, there's certain things which I would say that, you know, again, they're not compulsory. We all think that, you know, if we are going to Saudi, we have to wear a baya, we have to cover our hair. It's nothing like that, okay? It's absolutely nothing like that. It's your choice as a traveler. How do you want to do that? It's only that, you know, uh, you want to respect religions. And because of that, even I wore a baya when I was in Orphan or I was in some public places. But, but at the same time, we did wear jeans, tops. Even now, you know, I'm wearing a jeans and top. I, I did not use any hair care. And there was no shoe at all. There was absolutely no shoe. We should respect the culture and not wear something which is revealing. We should not be wearing shorts, dresses and all. Uh, I think that goes without saying. But there's no one who will stop you. Or there's no one who will question you that why were you not wearing this. Or there's no compulsion. You know, don't, don't keep any assumptions holding you up. Okay. Uh, through this blog of mine, the main aim is to tell you that it is a very safe country. People over here are amazing at every step. Uh, you know, whether it's been my team, whether it's been unknown people, whether it's been the host, uh, hotel, everyone has been really kind, have been really, really helpful. People have gone out of their way and helped me out. And I don't think I can ever, ever forgive this trip. I'm sure you want to enjoy that. Thank you.